What's up, folks? Your buddy Fatal Roadie. Tonight on Roadie Snacks, we then we got a special one. Uh, one of my subscribers sent me some stuff from Japan. We all know how my luck is with Japanese snacks. What have we got? First off, we got these spicy crayfish Lay's potato chips. The numb and spicy hot pot flavor. Lay's potato chips and spicy chicken ramen. I don't know where he got these from, Japan. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and give them a try. Let's go ahead and start off with the spicy crayfish, crawfish, crayfish. A little later. That's oh, for God's sake. It looked like regular potato chips. It almost tastes like Old Bay. Almost. <clears throat> and as tradition, I gotta give it a second shot. goes on <clears throat> no no one <laughs> that's, that's, mm. I just tastes like ah uh, <clears throat> after dousing my mouth with kerosene <clears throat> let's go ahead and try the numb and spicy Hot pot flavor. Maybe I should have tried these ones first. Three weeks later. I swear these Japanese bags don't want to open for this. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Whoa! Jesus, a rock. <laughs> No, sir. I didn't like Holy it. Holy shit. What is, on, what is on here that I can discertain? I have no idea what the hell that is. That, whatever. That. Yeah. Nope. Let's go. That's no, that's deceiving. If I were to go by my nose, you wouldn't. I would not go anywhere near these things. It's like if you left a sweaty locker room in the heat for a month. That's what these smell like. Boy. 
but They don't taste half bad. There are many other potato chips I would rather have, that being said. Numb. No. Spicy. Little bit. Would I break down a door to get them? No. I would give these a two. And that's mainly because the one, my nose, <clears throat> no. And I have a bad sense of smell. And <clears throat> yeah, actually the spicy is creeping up just a little bit. Not a lot, but nah, I'll stick to my, you know, my russet half burnt potato chips. Anyways, two out of five for the numb and spicy hot pot flavor. And then we're going to try some spicy chicken ramen. And through the magic of television, editing, and all that wonderful stuff, here it is. That is some deep. That looks evil. Moments later. Yahoo. That does have some spice to it. I am actually shocked. A lot of things they say it's spicy. And the closest they get is they take a little shaker of their spice. Don't even tilt it. They just wave it over the uh, food item and say, spicy. This one does have a bit of kick to it. I'm actually surprised. I can get a good little chunk of noodles here without taking half the bowl with me. I am, this redeemed the whole review. This is, this is really good. Um, I highly doubt I'll be able to find this anywhere here in the States. Um, but these noodles, these spicy chicken noodles, awesome. I would give these I give these a five out of five. I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, my lips are tingling. I got the sweats under my eyes. So that's, it's ticking all of my boxes, and it, it doesn't taste that bad either. I'm, I'm more of a, a beef ramen person, but these are good. I like these. Once again, five out of five for the spicy. I don't have the, the can. Uh, the packaging I'll it'll be up here uh, spicy chicken ramen three out of five Bruh. for the numb and spicy hot pot lays yeah and one <laughs> thank you to my subscriber who sent these over to me I did enjoy them it did it did give a little bit of entertainment in this in the process. And that'll do it for this episode of Ready Snacks. Leave a comment down below if you've had these before, what you thought about them, what you thought about this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Road. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. See ya.